There it is. We're live. There we go. It's working. I was really struggling to get get this to work there. Well, I got pressed live like ages ago. But we're here. We are here. The players are coming out now. I'm going to go for a... I'm going 1-0 tonight. I'm going 1-0. We'll go 1-0. Keep the faith in the boys. If we win today, it's a massive push for the playoffs. If we lose today, simple, simply put, it's over really, isn't it? Uh, so I'm going one note today. Uh, oh, more lovely content. Thank you very much, Jake. Very much appreciated. Love the first name. <laughs> Love that. Uh, come on, Bora. Um, FRJ. Uh, football edit says, come on, Jake. Uh, let's go predictions. One nil. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get a win today. Uh, we, we should. In a position that we're in now, we we need we need to get the win. Um, so, 1 0. Latte laugh. Again. I've got myself. I was already eating before the shrimp salad, obviously, but I've got a slice of toast. So, that's that's what we're scranning. That's what we're doing here. We're scranning. Wasn't that brother's back? I know, yeah. Massive. Absolutely massive for us, that. It is, it is absolutely massive for us. It obviously, he's a big part of the squad. Um, so, hopefully, um, we... Obviously... Hopefully, he hasn't lost any form. Who do you think will win? Um, the person... Oh, I have no clue. I, I, have, I literally have no clue. Uh, Daniel Spawn's highlights. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? Up the borough. I'm it. Let's hope for a win. I'll put, I'll put the volume up so you can make like, hear it. Once all this is done, we've got a hell of a match on our hands this evening, haven't we? Yeah, it's a must win for both teams, really. And I would also like to make a quick announcement just before we kick off here. Um, the Borough Till I Die podcast will be starting very soon. It's something to look forward to. The Boris and I Live podcast is starting very, very soon. Um, yeah, um, and it's not just going to be me who's running it. It's not just going to be me. There's going to be another person who's running me, but that will all be announced very, very soon. Um, but anyways, more to be announced very, very soon. We're about to kick off here. So hopefully we get the win. Why does it look so bright? Now booming around the You're my favourite Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Uh, tough game tonight. Yeah, definitely. Both teams need to win. Middlesbrough is going to kick us off here. I can't help falling in love with you. Come on. And here we go. It's a long ball forward straight from the kickoff. It's going to... As I draw might get there. Oh, that's a free kick. Definitely. Both teams need to win this today. Bloody hell. I'm absolutely... This evening, Just myself. Uh, check it, check it, get with. <laughs> Love that. It's with the whole city goalkeeper right now. Oh dear God. It's a long ball forward. Grease heads it. Heads it again. But we win it back with Finn Azaz. And now Greenwood. Who loses the ball but it's won back straight away. It's Lewis O'Brien. Now Greenwood. Housen. 
No on the left hand side. And now a bit of space on that far side for Lucas Engel. We've got it's a bird's eye view, really, isn't it? Of this game near you. And he goes by the name of Latilla. With not just a the view of the pitch, but Sending the end with the ball now. It's a long ball forward to Isaiah Jones. Which is just slipping into darkness. Goes up for a throw. On their right hand side, Luke Ehrling to take it. Nearly two minutes gone and it's nil nil. Kick off delayed tonight. And, tonight and now Rav Van den Berg goes back to Sadie the end. But the Borough coach got Who is in his orange strip today. A, number of the whole players. a very beautiful so goalkeeper strip. 15 minutes. There's a lot of moving up. As he kicks it up the field. The right hand side. For Luke Greenwood to get there. there. Leaves little space for Ehrling there. But he just goes to that pass to his eye Joel. Doesn't get it right. Yeah, with Hull City now, Jim Greaves. Turkish wide man Abdush Ulmer. Now in the back. From the looks of it, Giles isn't playing. Can't see him. I haven't checked the lineup. But from the looks of it, unless that's him, just changes his ass now. It's a long ball, he must be offside there. He scored, but it's offside. Lofted finish over Seni Dieng is in vain, and the referee. Jake's even more chance for us. Nah, I can't. I can't. You do that again, you're going to find yourself in the book because he knew he'd been flagged up. I, 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 I had a little bit of a sing along. But uh, how, if we win this today, I swear to God. And I said Latte Laugh as well. Dieng. If he scores today, freaking hell, I will go absolutely crazy as it's a long ball forward. Engel! Latte! Latte! Yes! Oh my god! Latte Love! Latte! Oh wow! Latte Love has pulled us in front! Oh ho ho! Latte Love's done it! Latte! Get in there! Get up there! The Borough fans go crazy! He is on fire! It's Latte Lat! Fucking get in! And he goes by the name of Latte He's a striker, he's a number nine. Scoring goals in the red and white. He's fucking rapping and he loves to attack. And he goes by the name of Latte Lat! What a ball by Lucas Engel, by the way. And a beautiful touch from Latte Lat. Left foot strike. He's just too good, isn't he? Just way too good. Oh, stop that. That is 13th goal of this season. Oh, wow. Excellent. Oh, wow. Gets the move with a green. And he takes it away from the players and the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper tries to now. He's done the really well there. He swats it under his legs and dissatisfaction around this ground from the home fans because that pass was played straight to Liam Rossini. Wow. Technical area on the edge of the pitch. Just oh, Lee. What a start this is. Yeah, I said to you before, didn't I? I said, if they He's for Carapa and he loves to attack. And he goes by the name of Latilla. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have we just witnessed there? Fantastic start from us. I tell you what. Come on, get in, get into him. Uh, come on, up the fucking butter. The fuck, get in there. Excellent, excellent stuff. He's just too good. Oh wow. Oh Jesus. That is a massive goal for that. that. That is a massive goal for us. That Greenwood, Greenwood takes a shot. Oh. Tell you what, mark my words. Next season, he goes above twenty goals. To be fair, he, there's not there's not a lot of games left. But he could do it. This season, you never know. Aggressively, and Greenwood gets the ball there. 
But if not this season, next season he's gonna tear tear it apart next season. But that depends if we go up or not. Cleared away. Housen. He's trying to hit it there. Now Jones. Azaz. He's got Ailing on the right. He, he whips the ball in though. With Clark as a striker there. With Clark doing up there. Jones, one of Hull's two central defenders, and the Tigers have it in their own area. A beautiful ball into the box. You see Matt Clark just lingering at the back post, and it's whipped in with pace. He gets up a little bit too early, goes over his head, pull up the ball. Trying to just clear their heads here. Tyler Moore. Get up there, is you bastard. the diagonal to the left-hand side. It's going to be kept in play by Ozan Tufan. Good skill. As Ealing oh, dear. Left-hand side. Just nicked it past him. Filaging behind him on this whole left wing. Now Coyle. Oh! Go kick. Up the Borough. We hit Sunderland. I think he was confident enough that that ball was going to whiz past the far post. Goal kick. It's full nil. Uh, just to confirm. Yeah, yeah, I was right. Ryan Giles is on the bench. Just, just to let his arm off. Giles is on the bench. Which is a bit weird. Because if that ball comes into the box, Clark with a pass back to his keeper on the goal line. Oh, Jesus. Finds its way to Clark. Good player. Oh, Jesus Christ. No way. We're coming forward again. It's Greenwood. Latte. Latte Lat. Ah, Greenwood. Into the box. Ah, cleared away. Luke Aaron. Here's O'Brien. Now as as he's gone, he goes back to Ravandenberg. Now Clark. Housen. So as it stands right now, we are seventh. As it stands. But that could change if, it, if we drop any points from this game. Anything less than three points tonight. Then, yeah. <sighs> Along the first to go after the cross, Isaiah Jones. Ah, <laughs> shit out. Absolute shit out. And you started so well, but oh, your opponents shit. are keeping all that ball. You're not giving it away cheaply, and especially he's our way. striker. He's on number nine, scoring goals in red and white. And he's fucking really rapid and he loves to attack. Just and he goes by the name of Latilla. Nah, stop it, man. Oh, it's a long ball. Latte, he's run to it. The speed demon. Ooh. But I'm pretty sure he just gave offside there. Going up, going up, going up, going up. <laughs> well, you never know. Where if it's this season, next season. I I'd prefer next season. Rip it up next season. Get a, get a few new players in the summer. Build the squad for the new season. Because that's what we've been doing for the past few seasons now. And it's coming to the point now where we're, we're nearly at that stage. So, you know, we've just got to keep going the way that we are. And I say if we don't make it this season, then we, we'll, we'll do it next season. I know that we say that every season, but like the way that the club is at the moment, the way that they're dealing with, um, obviously, transfers and stuff is really, really good as the ball is floating in. Cleared away after a shot was taken on after the deflection. Latte tried to overhead the um, clearance. Shot taken on is well wide. Just wide from the edge of the area. City come close there. And it's hell. What's the score prediction? Well, my prediction was 1 0, but it could be more than that. Imagine. 
Imagine it's more than one nil. It could be four. Imagine if no. Imagine if it was four nil. That that that'd be crazy. But I, I don't think it will. I think that hole will definitely like that that like they are now. They're starting to come up come out as a little bit more. They had a little bit of a slow start, um, but they're, they're starting to obviously attack a lot more now and um, starting to create a couple of chances. So we've got to be got to be turned on. Um, defensively as Greenwood with a beautiful pass to O'Brien Engel he's on the he's on the yeah I know yeah Latte up the Latte going to have to get myself a Latte now Howston he goes back to Senny Dien with Still with Saint the end. Oh, there's no chance. You never know. They are starting to attack a lot more, so I'm not saying anything because no one knows. We'll probably blow it. But if we can get a win here, it's massive. It's massive for us. As Latte is through again. Oh, not sorry, it's Isaiah Jones. On now on the left hand side Isaiah Jones he's going to give it to Greenwood not he goes to Housen now Greenwood Engel just just passing the ball around that um, left hand side as Engel he drives in he puts it in the box but nobody was there through the six yard area and nobody in a white shirt gambled it's a whole throwing the mighty reds in town yes sir right across the six yard box if you haven't already make sure to leave a like on the stream you very much appreciate it um we are currently one up against hull which is absolutely massive for us going towards the uh, end of the season as the playoff push is very I wouldn't say it's very tight but um, it's getting more entertaining as the end of the season comes along Lafayette or Patrick you never know um, if he can Obviously, if he reacts well after his first goal, then I can see us, I, I can see him getting another one. But you know, it's right now it's about keeping that lead, St staying switched on defensively. Um, oh, what's going on here? Something's happening here. Would you put Dyke Steele in there or would Johnny Housen go back in there and... Ah, oh, nothing's happened. It's just a throw in. Incidentally, I'm not sure... Senny Dieng. playing with the wing-backs tonight. It looks like a, a flat-back... He's just nice and calm, isn't he? Just... Yeah, they're pushed on. As oh, as that is beautiful. Goes deep to the Ralph Vandenberg. To Vandenberg. It's a long ball. Oh, stop it. Oh, do you know what? That would have been beautiful. It was a long ball to Isaiah. As I heads it to Greenwood, Greenwood got a touch on it, but it wasn't a really good touch. Let's just say that. And he tried to chase it, but you know. And the home fans seem a little stunned by what they've seen so far, Neil Madison. Do you know what I think? Fabio Cavallo, the best. <laughs> to be fair, he is a really, really good player. I'll give you that. He is a really good player. Just change slightly because if you remember early on. Yeah, I've, I've watched him a few times the whole. He is, he is really, really good. So, I wouldn't say he's the best though. But he, he is a great player. Ailing ready to take a throw in near the Borough box. Azaz to Ailing. Goes back to Rav to Corridor Matt Clark. Just toss this one aimlessly into the box. I think I'll make it the Prem. If it's not this season, then it, it, I think it'll be next season. Um, coming short to help out, keeps it moving. To so you know, anything could happen. Um, right now, it's very hard for us because you look at the teams around the playoffs and you look at how many points there is between us and obviously the, the other teams obviously now at the moment it's four points um, 
clips it in the direction of Latte Lat. Didn't reach but, it first time. It will now, thanks to good work from Azaz. Oh, do you know what? That was really unlucky. Crunchy tackle from Jones on Azaz. But it's the championship. If you get results and other team crumble, then you've got a chance. You've just got to keep taking advantages. Like yesterday, results went our way. We've now got to take advantage of that. So, obviously, if we can take advantage of all the results, then, you know, there's a there's a massive chance as it's a long ball by Rav to Isaiah Jones. And now he goes back to Matt Clark. Howson. Oh, that is beautiful from Howson. A little, a little turn. Angle. Finds the space, finds angle, angle. Yeah, they are. Yeah, 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 to to oh, no, 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 and this is where the goal came from. Delivery down the left, but the ah, boy, delivery right, right. in the build up to the goal was a mic better than that one, which just drifts out to the left. Like yeah, he a goes by the name of Latela. What a guy. Game over. Don't say that. You can see that speed. Look and see. It'll be horrible. Across that line and just trying to get in. It'll be. It'll be karma. Emmanuel Latte laughing. It's working so far for us. Gets there. And he's gonna move forward. O'Brien. Ah. Ailey made the wrong pass there as it's Jaden, I think. He's on the left hand side, he's, he's doing all of his skilly moves. Yes! Rav's hurt himself here. Tackle was made, but Hull have got a corner as Bristol City go 2 0 in front at home to Blackburn. First corner of oh, what's the he done here? For the home side, and it's Abdul Shuma who's going oh, to take it. It's, it's like settled now. Keep faith going on. Yes. Side. Hopefully, he Ellen stays in Borough. You never know. He's obviously at the end of his contract with Leeds at the end of the season. So. Just off his line. The ball is in, and it's cleared, but it comes no further than a whole player. It's Carvalho. A layoff. Former. Now Seri. So he puts the ball in, in Senny Dieng with the catch. And it's grabbed comfortably by Massive. And now on the counter, Isaiah Jones on the left hand side. He's still got the ball after being nearly taken down. He's been tackled, but it comes no further than Sam Greenwood. Finn Azaz. Just playing it back at the defence. <clears throat> Clark is keeping it calm on the ball. Now it's Danny Dieng. As the Borough fans are belting out Isaiah Jones' song. Nice to score the time, eh? That game kicked off at 8 o'clock, just like we did here. But it's West Brom nil, Rotherham nil. Hull nil, Middlesbrough 1, Emmanuel Latilat with the goal. Four More starting to come forward. And I think Hull have... Played it alongside the back now. Jason Breeze. For a pressure. Red Army! I think they've just... Um, I, I also had a, had a few minutes of possession here. Yeah, I, talk, I agree, but I also think the shape from us has been really good. Too fat to Philogene. Philogene coming in from the left wing. Hull, high up the pitch. All the fans are uh, saying... Yusuf gives the song. To his right. Oh, he's bouncing around. That's crazy. Joining in in midfield, Borough defending just inside their area. Seri will get it once more. Out to the right hand side. They're singing Bangura song. Back to Orma. Bangura! The players coming short in Morton. That one breaks down, but he'll win it back just past the centre circle. Man Hull nil. Middlesbrough one. Man the gap, man the gap. I say. Man the gap, man the gap. Something to say. Man the gap. Fucking gap. Love that. And they look to fit that ball in as well, but also if you pinch it. I mean, they, they squeeze up, they make their, the back, the back four. Football, they're in a library. So I did have the chance to go to Hull tonight. Behind, but, I think it's just, he's normally got a bandage on. I, uh, yeah, Rav had to decline, unfortunately. Borough have got a throw in here after some disciplined defending. Rav Vanderberg has a problem with his left It's hand. currently 1-0 to Middlesbrough. To the bench to speak to 
the doctor. See, I, 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 I just wish I could have like the score there, uh, but the app that I'm using at the moment doesn't let me do that. And if I do do that, it just doesn't let me change it during the stream. So, so unfortunate. So I can't wait to get back on. Uh, uh, I just can't wait till I get a PC or something, just to like do it. In the first 21 minutes, probably within a year or so. Where's your friend? What, my friend, uh, Ryan? Is that who you're on about? You're expecting to carry on, and he is. He's actually there tonight. He's. He's actually at the match, so, oh, <laughs> he slipped over, then number seven, Bristol City go 2-0 up against Blackburn Rovers, Jesus. Swansea 1-0 up against Stoke, oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. Johnny Allison. It's a long ball. Latte. Oh, do you know what? That's unlucky, that. Latte, I've tried to head it. To, uh, I think it was um, O'Brien. But he just could. He, yeah, he was just a bit short. Short to that. Philogene, just in front of the Borough bench. Oh, Feels like half a mile down beneath. Fin as 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 Tyler Morton thinks it should have been a free kick, but Gabby Azaz think, takes out the whole City player, just absolutely kick, anyway. like, kicks Morton the living hell out of him. And he goes down, Jules. but nothing was given. I thought it was a free kick, but the referee thinks not, which I'm not complaining about. Oh, Jesus. It's a misplaced header from Isaiah Jones. And it came to a whole City player. But it was defended really well and it's out for a corner. Luke Haley with the clearance. Dieng, but he gets it all wrong. Puts it into Philly Jean's path. And he's, he's a little bit wide. He's in this, just Why is Isaiah heading it there? In that direction. Why would you do that? Ball at the box. Right in the centre. But Matt Clark's head gets there. Get it out. It's got to go. Go kick. It's a goal kick. It's a goal kick. Goal goal kick. That Louis Coyle kicked into the stand back onto the pitch. It's hit the back of Senny Diego. I mean, the whole fans are on your waist and they're on time. He can. Goals and two fans didn't understand the rules as well as you, Neil. We're, we're the one to a 1 0 up. Back to Diang. So I'm not complaining. He controlled it well. Jones up in the air in the set to circle off his chest and that allowed Ormond uh -oh. to get Make him back for the Tigers. And now on the left hand side, it's a ball in the area and it's cleared away again, cleared again by Aileen, but it's gone out for a corner, before Aileen could get it out, I think it does just go out, the ball was in the box, Clark just kind of hits it towards um, Obviously, oh, bloody hell, get it cleared, get it gone, oh, Isaiah, oh, Isaiah, bloody hell, Stay in the light, it's falling down, 
and he'll win another corner. Strange on that because he was in odd piece of defence. Yeah, he was there. He was in front of Jake, taken short. Bormer. And now, Hull. Oh, that is a brilliant tackle from Emmanuel. He'll put it back into the box, though. Ball in the box, head it away. O'Brien trying to head it away again. But still, with the whole City players. And now going back to the defence. And now moving forward again. Now, oh, that's a really good pass. Slater put, could put it in the box here, he doesn't. But now the ball's in the box. It's headed by Greaves! What is this? By Emmanuel Latte, uh, not Emmanuel Latte, I'm sorry, Sadie Dien. My word! That's a really good save from Dien. And now it's another swing at the box! It's another good save! But it's offside! Wow, what a save that is from Senny Dieng. Two big, massive saves. The whole city are starting to knock on the door. And this is the whole city that I've been not, that's just whole city that I was hoping not to see. Because... When they play like this, they are a dangerous, dangerous side. About this managing your game, managing the way you play. That that piece of play from Hull has come from our mistake at the back. You know, trying to play. Super safe, Diego. Go. Look at Liam Rossini now. Let's put it. Pass it back to Diego. He goes racing out of his technical area. Greenwood. Encourages players forward. And now O'Brien. Engel. A long ball forward to Emmanuel Latte Laff, who chases, he's still chasing, cleared away. Oh, oh clacky boy, gets him for the, uh, the striker does, saying Dien clears it. It's still in, Isaiah Jones keeps it in. As it was going out for a throw in, Isaiah Jones with a beautiful touch by the way, keeps it in to try and keep the attack alive. O'Brien was the over the top, but Isaiah Jones couldn't get there. It is now with uh, Jay Jay Greaves. But as, as, as I was saying, Hull are starting to. It's obviously turn, turn the gear forward. And this is a whole city that I didn't really want to see because they are a really, really good side. And now it's on the left hand side with Jaden. It's a ball in! It's in! It's 1 1! It is in! Oh dear. It, it has been coming. I agree. It has been coming. We've we scored the goal and we've we've kind of turned the gear down and they turned the gear up. And it turned and now it just looks like they want it more. And it's a really good goal as well. I'm pretty sure it's J Jaden for the Jane who gets it. It is his goal. Yeah, no one else touches it in the box. Jaden for the Jane's goal. Oh, that's horrible. It's hole one. Middlesbrough one. It, it's unlucky for from uh, from the end, to be fair, because he's got two players in the box who are ready to head it. And they go for it, but they don't touch it. And Senny Dieng then has to react really quickly, which is not easy to do. 
And he's very unfortunate with that one. It's not the keeper's fault. And now here come Hull again. But Luke Ehrlin keeps the ball. And he's going to try and get it out. He keeps it in. Housen. And now we've got to try and get another goal to take the lead. We need we need to turn the gear up. And we need to keep it up. O'Brien and Zaz back to O'Brien oh that's a really good turn from O'Brien it's a nice ball as well oh go on oh no way he's given a foul for that no way oh I don't think it is like and that's the whole fans you can hear in the background for what feels like the first time this evening Neil Madison yeah so Hull won. Do you know what? Hull are charging for playoffs. In, but, the half hour but there's empty seats everywhere. Has leveled things up here. Some so support that, like. No offence. Any Hull fans in here? To his left. Oh, Jane for the Jane. Here he is again. He's going to try and do the same thing again, isn't he? He's, he's, he's going to go for it, you know. He is. Same to Yang. Dangerous player he is. Jaden Philogene. He is a dangerous player. But so is Latte Laffy who's coming forward here. Latte! It's a really good tackle. As the whole fans start singing, it's all gone quiet over there. Elsewhere, West Bromwich Albion are leading against already relegated Rotherham. You got Peter Jake. No, no, it's a um, toast. Stork nil. Uh, zero Six shots since that is goal. I know. Bristol City two, Blackburn nil. As I was saying, we've we've kind of turned the gear down, they turned the gear up, Sam Green to take this and we from we shouldn't have. Side. Well, Twelve minutes to go to the break. As the ball is up, Dean. The keeper comes and punches. I thought he could have caught that. Ball Greenwood. Six yard area. It's a bit of Ailing. Oh, he's done it! Ellen! It's a long ball forward. It looks like that's going to go out. No. Angle make sure. Angle make sure he, it does though. And then shanks that one straight into the stand opposite. Pull through in. 20 yards up from the corner flag on their right hand side. I think Michael Carp will be just get it half time. Uh, anyone know any free streaming sets? I don't, unfortunately. I do apologise. Very sorry. Obviously, I, I pay for this sort. Yeah. I do apologise. The ball is heading for the corner flag on the left. House has tracked it. It's found Philogene, though. Good pass now. Oh, Jesus. Seri to the edge of the area. Carvalho. And now on the right hand side. Oh, right. the frog is down too easy. Then there's pa the, 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 the passing. Their passage is brilliant. But they're just running rings around us at the moment. Oh, wow. Carvalho. There he is. There is one way you can watch it for free. Both in your game state. Worst. Love that. Pushing that line up. 
<laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> I mean, you're not technically wrong either. But you'd probably get arrested. But the box, it needs to be cleared. O'Brien does well. Offside. Yeah, I'm already making sure I like the stream. Doing very much appreciate it. As it is currently 1-1 in this game. Currently 11 likes in the stream. Thank you very much for the support. Two can just floating around as well, and the centre half's so GX scream up the bottom. Nah, I'm not screaming. Can't scream. Neighbours will hate me. Well, hate me even more. Well, in Emmanuel Latilla and Isaiah Jones, Borough do have two players with the pace to punish that high defensive line. Barcelona and Scott. Who the hell? Volleyed out. Through the Borough technical area, pull through it back to Jacob Greaves. He'll find his keeper also. We should say thank you at this point, shouldn't we, to all the um, all the Borough fans who got in touch with us on X at BBC T Sport with their their reading recommendations for you, Neil. After you went viral with your revelations <laughs> in the whole match against Swansea, not read a book since 1998. He said. And that book was the Da Vinci Code, which somebody did claim was only written in 2003. Oh, so was that ahead of your time. Pick up the pace again. House and, House and you right got. House and you got. Up, ah. Oh, he tried to win a throw in a filigree and managed to keep it in play with no room at all to work with. Oh, that is oh, brilliant passing, by the way. Keep it alive. Work back into midfield by the Tigers. Their confidence is... Yeah, it's really risen, up. hasn't it, since yeah. that equaliser? Yeah, it certainly has. They're passing it around, and as I said, they, they just seem And now, on the left hand side, come home. Too fat play Again. Jaden for the Jane. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. oh, no. Morton stands it up towards the back post. Green it's going to be a shot taken on here. Oh, my God. Get it cleared. Get it away. Shot taken on. Cleared off the line by Luke Ehrling. Oh, my word. Oh, danger's not gone yet. And now it's a pass. It's, it's a shot. Look at hell. 25 yards out. He has a shot. Seni Dieng saves. But we need to turn the gear up here. We're very slow on the ball at the moment. And Hull on the ball. Their pass is brilliant. Brilliant clearance from Luke Ayl in that. And now here's Lewis O'Brien. Lucas Engel goes back. Clark. Just playing the ball along the back at the moment. As it's with Matt Clark again. And now moving forward, Clark. Long ball forward, but... Engel I believe that's Engel who, so knew, he who knew he was offside, so he started to walk off. Pass over the full defense and so now it's back with Hull. Just to the right of his area. He said both teams, the draw's not good enough. And it's been a game that the way the so game... the whole city goalkeeper at the moment. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I think... Jack Greaves. The first 15 minutes we were on top and we looked really good and then all of a sudden... Uh, they, they really started to put the pressure on Hull and you could feel that goal coming, it certainly does. They played a few lovely balls like that and we got away with it, they've ran out of play, but that one, it just went into the far corner. As I'm sure every Borough fan knows, Norwich City surrounded a 2-0 lead at Sheffield what? Wednesday last night. So they dropped have. a couple of points and Coventry lost at Southampton. So tonight is the big chance for Borat to take a bite out of that gap to the playoffs. Oh dear. Long ball drops over the head of Ailing. Two fans. Nice, brilliant from Ailing, that. Luke Ailing! Luke Ailing! Luke Ailing! Luke Ailing! Luke Ailing, Luke Ailing. Luke Ailing there, I think briefly, lost his bearings, Neil Madison. Well, I've mentioned that we've got that option of going over the top with Isaiah Jones and Latte Lap. But I have a feeling there's another much. goal there. They've used it down the left hand side and the right hand side. They've got into good position. Oh, oh, that's oh that, that is terrible. That is dead awful. 
What the fuck was that? We have just gone from one up to all of a sudden um, going two nil down. I mean two one down. Sorry, two nil. Sorry. Uh, season over now. Not technically. We've still got a whole other half to play, so it's not dead over yet. But yeah, it, it puts a bit of a dent into it. It puts a dent into our season. It doesn't specifically mean the season's over. Just gets cut out and he tries to get the ball back. He does There's still we can still do it. Manage the game a little bit better. No for the playoffs. I mean look, it's a big massive dent. But that could be fixed. And midfielder. If we can get another goal. If we, if we can just get a goal here. We can start picking up the pace a little bit, as we are now. Jones. Jones, oh, brilliant piece of skill. Who's going to tell him? But what the hell? Easy for Gavin Ward to give Borough a free kick. But, but, well, yeah, three minutes to the break. You know, just you mentioned there a position. Don't worry, John. We'll get the last lap. See what you did there. See what you did there. Said before, you know, well said. Give them a goal. Don't allow them to score a goal from your mistake. But manage the game better. It was a complete gift. The goal that has scored it was a complete gift. They just played it along, along on the floor. Whole city player. Tackles, knows what's going on. And just strikes it to the top corner. Very unfortunate. Probably get us going to go. Imagine. That'd be insane, that. Just a simple pass, a 10 yard pass to their defender. So hold two, the borough one. The atmosphere completely changed here on Humberside. It's a long ball by Greenwood to Isaiah Jones. Oh, got a ball. I thought that hit his chest. Whoa, that hit his chest. That. Oh dear. Some of the whole players, a level crossing in the vicinity of the ground was stuck. And right now, Borough are stuck seven points short of Norwich because they've lost the lead that they gained in the fourth minute. Also, driving the goal kick long, Vandenberg heads down, Coyle hits a long ball forward Borough again, bounces back to him, but it goes out for a Borough throw. Borough throwing for Luke Ayling to take. And now, and now there's a whole city player down here. Not quite sure what the problem with him is. He's limping. He seems fine now. Back up and who has more possession? <laughs> Hull. Definitely Hull at the moment. They're, they were just passing rings around the zone. They weren't even the centre just come in and just said, "Listen, Liam was in. So just come in and just said, come on, you've got to push up a little bit more. We've got to put, put pressure on their back four, and they've done that to be fair. And in the last half hour, you know, hands up, they've been the better side. Hull. Sam Greenwood was just dispossessed rather easily on the halfway line, and now Jacob Greaves, with his team two one in front, can really take his time. He's elected to go back to his keeper also, who's Got the ball just beyond the team. Long ball. Looking to the left wing, Ailing. Ailing gets a free kick. By two fun there. He has. Gavin Ward Middle pulls his whistle, gives the free kick, and we're into two minutes of stoppage time. Your prediction. At the end of this first half. Two minutes left of this, of this half. This is the second half. I'd go for a. We're doing the winning. We really need the win. But we've seen plenty from Borough, certainly in the first quarter. We really need the win. 
to have hope for the game for the time that remains in this game. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I think also as well, when you go to one as Greenwood again loses the ball, I'll go for a. When you go to, I'll go for a three two. Team, I'll say it's three two. Yeah, same with me. And try and retain that possession, and that's I think that's the case so far. Why does he keep deleting his messages? I mean, I can still see him on here. Now, can we hurt him with that possession? That's the key. Well, not on this occasion. That breaks down halfway line. Carvalho picks but it like, up, and he's moving towards the left. He keeps getting deleted, isn't that? He's been a real threat, hasn't he? he on has. his left hand side, he's hit the double figures for the season now. He's Philogene, that was his tenth. He's their top scorer. 21,934 the attendance tonight and now here come Hull again oh wow three players in the box are marked but Clark gets his body in the way got one more minute left for this half and Hull have a corner to extend the lead for it possibly which I hope they don't Heads up, looking to put balls into the box. The amount of balls that have gone into our box in this first half. I'll tell you what, I bet. I'd like to see the stats on it. We're in the second minute of stoppage time. At the end of this first half, we'll have a corner. Four players lined up on the Lord. penalty spot. The ball's in. Comes, Cleared away from Clark. Rising header clear of the area by Clark. And all the way through for a throw in. On Surely, the yeah. Side, the whole left. That's got to be our time. The referee... Yeah. Watches Carvalho walk away from the ball and he blows his whistle to bring the first uh. to an end. Well, it's been entertaining, it's been enterprising from both teams at different times, but at the break, it is the Tigers who have the edge. Half time, Hull City 2, Middlesbrough 1. Well, uh, <laughs> that's a from us. You know, the, the way we played, we've got a bounce. Um, and pressure and. Look, I think the first five to six minutes of that game, we definitely controlled the game, most definitely. And especially when we was getting that first goal as well, it was absolutely massive for us. But after that, we, we, we kind of turned the gear down and, and you know, we've, we've not really... We've not really built on that we've not built on that first goal and it, it's it's really caught is caused lacking they've, they've caused lacking loads of times in that game um especially that second goal um the end kicks it out i don't know who was on the other end of it but anyways gets tackled by a whole city player and it gets smashed in so it's it, 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 it's tough to say. It's tough to say. Um, I think the, that entire half was very poor apart, apart from that first five or six minutes. Um, I think Hull's passing in that first half was was brilliant. Um, they, they, just, they ran rings around us. Um, and, well... You know, they just made us, like, obviously, obviously, apart from that first goal, that first moment in that game, they've kind of made us look like a non-playoff side because they, they just, obviously, just ran rings around us. The passing that they were doing was absolutely amazing. The, the first goal was brilliant, um, and it was very clever in a way as well, I have to say. It was very clever. Um, Jaden Philogene takes a shot. There was two players in the box. Um, they both went up the head for it, but they, they both missed it. So Sonny Dieng, he was there ready. Obviously, he didn't know where, which way to go. Um, and he seen the two players go up for the header. And, well, he he can't re react quick enough. Um, which, obviously, leads to the goal going into the top corner. Um, which is which is really unlucky. It's not It's not his fault. Uh, but the second the second goal was 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 his fault I'd say because he, he passed it to the man and obviously there was already a whole city player behind him so you know he put him under a little bit of pressure there um, and I think overall in that in, in that first half we we were just very very poor um, our defensive awareness wasn't very great um, our our marketing in the game as well has been great uh, we we need to deal. The, the one thing that I noticed in the game that they're finding it very easy to put it into our box 
we need we need that to stop. Um, so you know we need to be a bit more aggressive when it comes to their wingers because it, it just looks like we're not doing anything about it. Um, with, with, which is a shame because we we can easily break these down. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, whole the they're on a desperate run as well to get into the playoffs. Um, and obviously they're wanting the same thing as us and there's only, there's basically there's only one or two spots available. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's a very hard position because it looks like at the moment they are wanting it a lot more. Like, a lot more. Um, who's going to win uh, Ballon d'Or, in your opinion? <laughs> Ballon d'Or. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, last season, I think Haaland was robbed of, uh, of the Ballon d'Or, most definitely. Um, so realistically you could say someone but they probably won't even get it because they'll give it to like probably like Ronaldo or Messi or something but if it was from my opinion um, I'd say Bellingham I think he's been really really good I know he's young um, but recently you know you, you see you see his name absolutely everywhere don't you like, whenever you put up, like, Twitter or Instagram or something um, on a match day, like, his name always pops up, you know. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's... I'd say, I'd say Bellingham, but they'll probably rig it again this year, I, I think. Uh, who do you think will win the Prem? Do you know what? Very, it's a very unpopular opinion. Um, but I reckon, I reckon Arsenal are going to do it. I think Arsenal can do it this season, most definitely. Um, I think, obviously, last year they, they, they went on a really, really good run. Um, really, really good run. Towards, obviously, January, February time. And that's when their form kind of dipped. But this season... It's been quite the opposite. They obviously started slow, but they they're starting to build up, and now they're they're obviously building towards a a massive massive trophy, and you know if they can get that, then you know it'll be a uh, it'll be good. Uh, not Liverpool, nah. I know it's Klopp's last season. And they are currently top. But I reckon they'll crumble. I think they'll crumble. Can't lie. Thirty-four people are in this chat right now, and they are what, and you're all watching me. Scrum. <laughs> A bloody <laughs> chocolate spread on toast. <laughs> Who's your favourite player? Johnny Alson. Yeah, jo Johnny Alson. He's my favourite. I love Johnny. I absolutely love Johnny. And I'm not even talking about just, as in like, as in out of the middle of the players, I mean like, in the world. I absolutely love, I absolutely love Housen. Whole City, you know, ah man. Oh, the Bora. Uh, <laughs> you always make me laugh. Good. I'm glad that I can make people laugh. I'm glad that I can make people laugh. Even though I don't know what I'm doing to make you laugh. 
But you know, that, like, in a way, that's why I'm kind of here, you know, like, entertainment, like, entertainment wise, you know. Um, so, you know, um, I'm here at Kid Coventry and try, try and have a good time, you know what I mean? So, if I'm making you laugh, then I'm doing something right, aren't I? Bull City 2. Shut up, man. Shut up. Yeah, but. Hull obviously had a really good half there, so I'm not going to take that away from you. The second half. Watch out, yeah. Watch out. We can't lose to a team who are buying their way out of the league. Where we. I don't hate Hull. I, 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 I kind of like Hull. They're not exactly like a rival. Oh man, Hull. I know a couple of Hull fans. You're just going to get yes, sir. I am. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> we win, Pinoff, do you think? We'll go straight back down. Yeah. <laughs> if we're talking this season, if we go up this season, um, yeah. And now, now hear me out. The squad that we have right now wouldn't survive in the Premier League. Let's be real. Like, if we'd be totally honest right now, we would go straight back down with the squad that we've got. Even if we get a few players in the summer and obviously get in all that money and stuff. Um, you know, I just don't think that the squad that we have at the moment is good enough to be in the Premier League. But ne next season, um, it's all about building for that for next season. We want. Ne I think next season is about getting, getting a team together that can compete within the championship and also have a bit of experience in the Premier League. You know, or who are, are at least good enough to play in the Premier League. Um, and then obviously, if we do go up in that season, if we do go up next season, then we look at a step further up. We get one or two experienced Premier League players um, who are like probably free agents you, mostly you want to look for free agents um, but uh, you know also look for obviously the some some big players who can obviously keep like obviously can play in the Premier League who know, sort of know the league a little bit um and you know, just, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Um, basically, to keep us up for that season. That's what I was trying to say. But my my one process. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, want to get players that can obviously play in that in that sort of level um, for us to stay up in that first season in Premier League that's the main like you want in that first season you want to try and stay up in the in the Prem if you stay up for that one season you can start to build a little bit more um, obviously next season then this, the season after that would obviously be a case of surviving again but if you do that then you're obviously going to have all this money coming in from the Premier League um, and you're going to be able to get get these players um you know, so it's about building this squad and, you know, just being, obviously, what's the word I'm looking for? Consistent. That's my opinion. 
Um, obviously, if you have other opinions, please put it in. Please put it in the chat. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'd love to hear your 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 kind of thoughts on where we're going in the future, and obviously within like obviously with what's going on next season and stuff, whether we go up or not. Uh, but yeah, if you have thoughts on it, please put it in in, in the in the chat. Cause I'd I'd love to hear it, and obviously we can talk a bit more about it. Um, I'm pretty sure that the players are going to start coming out in a, in a bit. Uh, ass kicking time. Yes, sir. Hopefully. Well, I'm hoping so. Anyways, because uh, we really do need to. We really do need to. I say next two seasons, we're staying in the championship. That I can stick by. I think it'd be good for us. I know that people want instant success and, you know, that everyone wants to be in the Premier League, but it's not as simple as that, which obviously it is unfortunate, but Premier League is a different breed, um, you've, you've got to step your game up, and our players are not ready to do that, so we've got players who are ready to make that next step, so yeah. The players are back out, ready for the second half, hoping for a win. Jack, are you trying to get tickets for the Champions League fan? No, I'm not. Nah. The aim for the future of this channel. Uh, I haven't really, obviously, spoken much about the future of this channel. Um, but obviously I'm I'm at that age now where I'm 20 years old and obviously I'm I'm obviously needing to get a job and stuff, uh, which is something after college. Um, but you know, my aim for the channel at the moment is to start getting more videos out. I want to get more videos out, so not just like match day vlogs. I want to do a lot more than that. But I haven't got the the sort of uh, prop, props to do that, you know, um, which is a shame. But um, look, there's loads of plans for this channel, and I've had it. I've had it in place since last, probably last season. Um, I've just not got the resources for it at the moment, which is really, really unfortunate because I really want to get some new videos out for you. Because um, obviously it's it's always Mash Day Vlogs and I love doing the Mash Day Vlogs. They, they're brilliant. Um, I love doing Mash Day Vlogs and there's no secret about that. Yes, my confidence hasn't been as good um, recently. Um, but... Um, yeah, I'm just hoping to get a little bit more um, content on the channel. Ryan Giles has come on for the second half. Oh dear. Oh no. You know what's going to happen? It's going to happen, isn't it? He's going to... Oh, get him off, please. Get him off. <laughs> please get him off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Knew this was coming. Here come hole straight away! Gotta get that gun! Oh, that is cheeky from Isaiah Jones. As he starts to come forward, he goes down and, and nothing's given it to... It's going to be... A three Bit of aggression from the pair of them, and then the realization it was an accident. Forty yeah. likes of the stream, thank you very much. If you can get any more, that'd be very much appreciated. Thank you very much for your support on the stream. You've all been absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. Ealing and Engel at fullback. Housen. And also keep an eye out for the Birds and I Die podcast. Um, there's going to be a big announcement about that. Um, obviously, it's been a few months now since it's been announced, but obviously there's been no podcasts. There's going to be some news on that very, very soon. Um, so make sure you keep an eye out because it's all going to start up very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, 
Whole city player sips over and it's a poor throw. Jacob Greaves at centre half. Abdu Shulman, Tyler Morton, John Michael Serry, right. Jaden Philogene across midfield. Oh, is he giving a free kick? Tufan and Fabio Carvalho. He did? He's giving a free kick. Oh, he barely touched him. It is fair to say the Sam <coughs> fan club was having a day off. He was getting it in the neck, wasn't he? He was, I, I think. And with the shape that we've got, I think you've got to be wise to when they tack. And if if it's your man overlapping the fullback, because at times it was 2v1 for the fullbacks, and they were getting in the wide areas far too easy. But also, as well, I will say this. Thank you very much, Whip Flisk, for the uh, recent scores in the championship. Uh, we've got Birmingham and Cardiff, which is 0 0. Bristol still beating Blackburn two goals to nil. And Ipswich and Watford is 0 0. Watford, sorry. Um, right to left in this second half as we look. We've got Swansea. Position perched really high up, almost at altitude at the back. I don't know if you meant to put in that four. But I think it's still one nil. Uh, West Brom turn up against Rotherham. Jig, do you think this is gonna? Uh, who do you think is gonna win a uh, season or a uh, player season or what? Exchanging passes with his defenders with Hull. Two one in front. I'd say nearly three minutes of the second half gone here on BBC Radio T Sports. It's been great. But if we're talking as in a player who's permanently here, uh, wait, hang on. Azaz. Housen. He's going to try it here. Yeah. Left foot strike. Go on. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, I fell for that in last and it just, oh, he wasn't expecting it. Oh, no. Yeah, bastard. Housen does one man left foot strike save and it comes to Latte's feet it comes to him but oh he wasn't expecting it so his touch was miles off oh you bastard fuck on box and there's a little warning shot for the home team they've come from behind if you're just joining us but we're in front four minutes in but Hull turned it round before the break. Oh no! Here come Hull again. There's life in this one, but it's Oh! 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 Yes, Housen! Housen gets in the way of Seri's shot. If he doesn't, it's going into the next. He absolutely pounded that ball. They almost got. I seen it. Yeah. Scorer of Hull's second. It's a corner ball for the Tigers. Oh dear. It's going to be a shot taken on. Oh, it's another corner. It's another corner. Oh no. Goes towards goal. Saint Yang scrambles. Comes off Random Rob Vandenberg. Just slides past the, the far post corner ball to Hull. So Hull have another corner. Right hand side, it'll be an in swinger. Hull tails are up here. Looking to put Borough away early in this second half. Ball. That one flat and fast towards the near post. Clear it, clear it, clear it. Cleared away. Oh yes, go on. Here we go, go on. Isaiah Jones. Powers are winning two one. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. Concede the next goal because it's game over if you do, and but but that openness surely gives for a hope as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, I was just about to say, you know, it, does. Has. it gives you a little hope of possibly getting that next goal. I'm starting to believe that Housen just doesn't have a weak foot. Lewis O'Brien driving forward towards the box, and go! Oh. Thinking, you know, I was thinking, 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 I was
Honestly, I don't care who wins. I just want Middlesbrough to win. <laughs> Gets forward, gets into the box, and he lays it a window on this left hand side. It's a side foot shot. Yeah. It's going to be Finn Azaz, I think. No, it's not. He's in the box. It's going to be Greenwood who's going to take it. Greenwood. Ball in. Back post! Fast towards the back post. Headed Clark! Oh! Oh, Clark headed it. And the keeper easily saves it. If you want to keep our playoff chances alive, we've got to score now. Because we need to score two. Semi four, it's an open game, second half. They've had a couple of chances, so have we. 53rd minute, BBC Radio T Sport, it is full city. Oh dear. Here come all again, that's a really, really good pass. Two fan. Inside left channel, on his right foot, Philogene on the deep. Good Philogene. Looking for Morton's run, Morton. Tell you what, Villagene, he might be one of the best players that we've uh, we've actually played against. He is some player. Literally some player. Cheers, grab the mic. Thank you very much, I very much appreciate that. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. And now he's O'Brien. Come on, lads. Saying to It's a long ball forward, and it's gone out. It's gone out. With a terrible, terrible kick from Saint the end. Dear God. Super Saint Diego. And apparently we're now it's East Riding of Yorkshire again these days. But I'm fairly sure we'll be side the Humber so Come on. beginning in the Seas Valley territory at some point. Yeah, I, I mentioned as well too fine. I, t I think I called him too come on. <laughs> yeah, I wish you did these other day. I love watching him. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I, I might start doing TikTok lives. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. I was thinking about doing TikTok lives for try that out. There's a picture up on the screen. We're to our right of Hulf and Andy Clark. He recently died and the home fans are remembering him as oh dear. a team. Here Hull. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was so scary. Gets the ball and just oh. Well, what my what I do? I was. This is one of the things that I've been wanting to do. Um, was gaming streams on YouTube. I don't know if that's what anyone is interested in. Me doing streams on. YouTube. Um, I haven't really got the resources to do that at the moment. I'll try and find something to do it on. Um, but I could possibly look into doing that. I could do like career modes and stuff. Um, like on EFC. Um, Fortnite. I don't know. Um, Rocket League. You know, I play Rocket League a lot. So I could start doing Rocket League. Uh, I did release a gaming video not too long ago. I think it was Fortnite. Um, I'd say it done alright. Um, but I just haven't really got back into doing the game and stuff. Um, like the video itself. So I have to screen record it all on, on um, Twitch. And it's so annoying. Just inside the bottom half. So, um, 
Yeah. Seri. Morton. Set the circle. Oh, Latilak might just pinch it. He's got something. Oh. He's then tackled. Jacob Greaves walking the tight rope. Yeah, I don't play cod. I don't really play cod. I, I used to play it a lot, but I, I just haven't played it a, like a lot recently. Might get back into it though. We'll see. Just like when you try to play it now, it's just full of sweats. So literally, all I do now is just do the story mods. I might might start doing a us. I could do a us, you know. And I'm on the stream, and then obviously I can get like viewers in to do it. You know, it's like stuff like that. If you haven't already, if, if, if you're on Instagram, make sure you follow me. Uh, it's Jake underscore Johnson underscore YouTube, or if you want to create in one word, just Jake Johnson YouTube. If you find me anyways. Um, oh dear, here come home. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna find me on there, if you don't already follow me on there, make sure you do, because there'll be like updates and stuff on there. Microphone. It, it, it's fun for a little while, but uh, it does eventually just get boring. Yeah. And now here's Clark using under very much pressure, but it comes to angle. Oh, I, oh still got it. Are we getting a free kick? Yeah, we are. Yeah, well, come on. <laughs> no. I can't do it. I can't. As I said, the neighbours would hate me. Well, they already do. And now here's Halston. Oh, that's cheeky ball at the box. No one's there. Nobody was there. And now, Engel. Clark. It's now O'Brien. Hamson. Greenwood. Greenwood. Who hasn't really been great recently? Houston. Oh my word. It's a ball the box, corner ball. A throw in? I mean, for, for me, on the screen it looked like it was a corner, but it's a throw in. Curling it back down this left hand side to Clark. Hulter, as as. Radio T Sport, we're on 95 FM. DAB. O'Brien. Oh, that's brilliant from O'Brien. A really good ball as well to Engel. Engel ball to the box. And Greenwood. Who is absolutely terrible. Oh, my God. He's got to get that ball when it's when he's got a little bit of spears. Get it in there now, as as come on, just to the right of the area. Finds Jones, Jones across, hits Giles out on the first bounce on the far side. Borough throw it. Well, they're giving it a go. Yeah, well, certainly pushed up a little bit more. The whole you tend to just drop off a little bit because you come on, boy, come on, boy. I've got to say, second half, it's been backwards and forwards. It's been quite an open game. And we're in a, a bit of a spell of Borough possession in the whole half here. They're going to have another throw in. It was out of Philogene. Ailing, level with the 18 yard line. Back down that right hand side to Vandenberg. Here's O'Brien. Now Clark. Invites Clark to oh, look at that. Oh, he's going on a run. He's overrun it. Edge of the area. And ends up having been tackled. Challenge as a result. Pass one or two, Paris two. Down the Jesus. Long attempted pass. <laughs> Some game that then. Full throw in, but a promising moment comes to nothing. You're boxing in now. Should put my multi screen on. That would be pretty cool. So that I can see both again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh.
It is a, a dry evening, Clark. Oof. Oh, he's looking for Latte 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 for a goal kick. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah, guys, just just so you know, I, I also do um WWE streams. It's very it's it, bear, bear in mind it's very late at night when I do them. Um, it's like one o'clock in the morning. So I know that a few of you won't be able to like obviously see them and stuff. But uh, if you're able to watch them and you're up at that time, then make sure you come and give it a watch. Uh, I think a few people. I haven't realised that I actually love WWE. My 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 hero is actually John Cena. He threw me his never give up towel at a live event once, and I, and I shook his hand, which is crazy. Um, and ever like ever since like he's been my hero. So uh, you know, and I've always loved the WWE. People say it's fake, which yes, it is fake. But does that make movies real? <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're able to watch them, then you know, please come along and uh, give it a watch. Be very much appreciated. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, give that a little plug. Paul so. City have a, a throw in. Headed away by O'Brien. Still got dangerous work. Brilliant as as. Oh, he's got. He's got some skill in. Vandenberg. Well done. Now Senny Dieng. It's a long ball forward again, and it's again. It's a terrible, terrible kick, which goes out for another throwing again. Since then, that he's just peeled that straight over everybody and out of play. Yeah, I just think the ball goes through. I think as keepers, if you if you get it set quickly, you know what you're going to do. But he doesn't, and all of a sudden there's a man rushing down on him, and he, he just overhits it. It's Carvalho. Oh, Morton stretching to keep the ball away from the quickly arriving Isaz. Hull keep possession. Hull still have possession here. This ground is just buzzing very happily at what they're seeing. When it gets to about the 75th right minute, we, if we don't have a goal by then, then it's over. Haven't been able to create them opportunities to, to try and... Clark's header across the defence early, make something of it, Jones. This was always going to be a hard game. Towards the halfway line. It was always going to be a hard game. Philogene's got decent pace, hasn't he, on that yeah. far side? He will chase Jones all day long and he had to play it back now, O'Brien, Greenwood... Go on, that's it! Asking Latte Lat to chase. The right back Slater came across. Borough have it back though. Jones. Jones is Jones. The area. Azaz to his Azaz. Tries it in low. Bounces off two whole defenders. And then they'll clear to Just defend really well. That's all I can really say. As it's a long ball forward. Oh, that's brilliant. Under hit. Straight at Vandenberg. That is brilliant from Matt Vandenberg. I'd just like to see a cultured little ball into the box. Because he ain't going to score from there. He hits it along the floor, hits the first man and clear, but just maybe he's picked someone out. There's a couple of players. Here's O'Brien now on the left hand side. Turned and headed towards the dugout as O'Brien loses possession. Jesus. The whole area. Hull two, the borough one. 65 minutes have almost elapsed here at the MKM Stadium. Again, Borough took the lead early. Jacob Greaves. On the, end of a on the left hand side now. Really neat finish with his left on the right. Acute angle, four minutes in. It's headed. For throwing. Equalised on the half hour marker. Up the ball. Shot that went all the way through and into the net. And then four minutes before the end of we, the first we half. We can win this. If we can get a goal now, then yeah. Pounced. If it gets to about the same, like pass. ten minutes, if, in ten minutes, in, in ten minutes time, if you don't get a goal by then, the yeah, you know then I, I can't see it. I think Michael Carrick will want to bring a bit of pace on. Sammy Silver is there, even Dyke Steele to a certain extent, so you're just pushing up a little bit on that right hand side. Howson finds Greenwood. Inside the whole half. Here's O'Brien and now Greenwood. Well. Howson. Oh, Howson. that's brilliant from Howson. Just chips it to the edge of the centre circle and Van Going back again. Doing the now Howson. Lewis O'Brien, he's got a man on him. He does really, really well. Now Greenwood, Engel. Engel goes back. 
he goes to say the end. And you can see Isaiah Jones on that right hand side screaming for the ball and he's got to try stretch his whole team, but right now everything's in front of him. Bristol City are having a long ball forward, but it comes Burner. straight to a whole city player. At the end of all that passing, a ball played down the channel by Vandenberg goes all the way through to Ryan Olsop. Time is just ticking away here. We've had that one moment of real promise, haven't we, in the second half? The, it's the all sop save that bounced off Latte yeah. last. It's, it's comfortable. Right whole now, city, yeah, just passing the ball around. Said, everything's in front of him. Staying the nice and calm. Managing the game well. And you as a team have got uh, to try and do that. That's brilliant. That's oh, excellent. We definitely need a lot more. You bring a little bit of pace content creators and Silvera. Um, obviously doing the match day vlog, so it'd be great. You've got nothing to lose. Well, yeah, it'd be great to have some more. Need to win this game, and, and so do they. But obviously, more content creators on there. So get yourself out there, no do it. Error. The one thing I will say, just ignore the people who like, just ignore the people who obviously take the Mickey or whatever, you know. You just do it for yourself, man. On the move, right hand side. He's just down the do it the because you enjoy it. That's what I do. I, I, I do it because I enjoy it. I get a lot of hate on here. I do. I do get a lot of hate. Get a lot of hate on TikTok. I get a lot. I get a bit of hate on Instagram. Uh, I, I even get messages as well. Um, but you know, I don't listen to those because I love doing what I do. So I don't take that into consideration. I just do it because I enjoy it. Um, if I get the good comments, then obviously I'm going to respond to it, and it's going to give me that confidence because um, I know that people enjoy the videos. So obviously I'm going to start doing a lot more. Um, but you're also going to get a few people who are going to hate. So um, you know. Just, if you're going to do match day vlogs, just do it because you enjoy it. Uh, obviously, it lasts if you do enjoy it. But if you enjoy it, just keep doing it. Don't let anyone, you know, don't let anyone bring you down. Just do it because... What the hell? Philogene trying to overhead kick. Uh, but yeah, just... If you enjoy doing it when, when you start it, don't let anyone... Like if, if, if someone says anything bad to you, just ignore it and, you know, just do it because you enjoy it. Other people will be jealous and that's why they're... The only reason why people would obviously say something about you is because they're jealous of you. That's how I kind of see it. When people give hate to me, I see it as jealousy. So, you know... That's a very bad tackle, that. But yeah, just uh, just enjoy it. And if you need any advice or anything, then just give me a message. I I always respond. Uh, do you have a GoPro? Or do you do it on your phone? I, I do it on my phone. I've got it on my phone right now. Uh, but I do all the vlogging and stuff on my phone. For Hull City, so, now yeah. in front but we desperately, desperately score. need to get a goal. In five minutes time, I can't see it. I can't see it happening. Oh, here comes Hull. Oh, thank God for that. Go on. Fit us, us. Go on. Go on, Jones. Give it to us, us. Us, us. Yeah. 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 Fantastic! Oh my word, we need we need another goal now. That's all we need, another goal. If we can score again here. Oh, oh that is amazing. Oh, that is beautiful. Finazaz, you lovely, lovely man. Oh, yes. 
That is just beautiful. Oh, thin as has. Oh, I so wish I was in that on my hand. I'd be, I'd be all over the place. See, no, I, was, I was everywhere when I was celebrating just then. What a goal. Brilliant. Thank God for that. We need to get another one though. We can't settle for, for a point. We cannot settle at all. And you've got two players with Azaz who's got a little bit of pace, gets forward. Isaiah Jones. Oh, come on! Oh, why is my thing he's saying like now? No, don't like on me now. Don't like on me now. Come on. Oh, my God. Ah, come on. Oh, hell. Uh, come on. Work. Down there is waving Thank God. The ball might now come his way. Silvera definitely coming on. Ole, 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 ole. Venezas, zas, zas. Venezas, zas, zas. Ole, 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 ole. Venezas, zas, zas. Venezas, zas, zas. Get in there. Love that. Come on. Let's start to build now. Let's start to build. Come on. Oh, Jesus. It's a ball into the box. Back post. Claims handball. Thank God for that. We we can't go backwards. Oh Jesus! Please stop doing this to me. Oh my God. I need it to be a draw. I need it to be a win. <laughs> There's been a sub. Uh, I don't know who it is though. Because my stream is starting to lag for some reason. Hold Sammy Severa comes on first. Sam Greenwood. For two and three points up for grabs. And it's for a celebration you can hear at the moment. Elsewhere then, Birmingham nil, Cardiff won. What the hell? Come on. Would love to see something you finish, Scott. It would be good, wouldn't it? What, well, has he just come on? Latte? What do you mean, Latte? What do you mean, Latte? Has he scored? What's happened? Tell me. No. Oh. You got me all excited there. Chest trap towards. Isaiah Jones. It's a good ball. This is Magda. Try a different trick. It doesn't come off. There's a Yap Stam song that springs to mind, which I won't complete. There's Morton, a straight ball through the middle of the Borough defence. Dieng out of his area to deal with it. A big up and under. Latilak trying to make life difficult for Alfie Jones, who's headed down. We'll find Slater. Always trying to wriggle his way past Silvera. Gets back at him. Hull keep possession. He's been adventurous, Regan Slater, hasn't he, all night? Here he come Hull again. To scoring a third, didn't he, with that driven cross earlier on in this half. Oh dear, oh no. Say the egg. Oh, that's a save. Say it again with a brilliant save. Do you know what? Something tells me here that it's going to be a last minute winner. I think this game's got too much stake in it that someone, someone is going to get the winner. You know, you've got to stay strong because the counter-attack will be on in this game. We expect Hull to have lots of the ball. 
In and take a throw in. I tell you what, everyone in East Anglia will be. Okay, shows the stream drink. No, I can't, unfortunately. Um, reason being is because of the, the copyright. Otherwise, I would. If I had the opportunity to, then I would. Obviously. But I can't, unfortunately. A better win, they'll probably take. Hull City are just playing around with the ball here, just passing it around. At the moment, they're just nice and calm on the ball, even even though they've obviously conceded that goal there. Still nice and calm on the ball. Where, where we're just like obviously starting to defend again, we're not actually building. Hull throwing attacking position left hand side taken quickly. Which is very which is a very dangerous move, by He's the way. Sitting in, isn't he? Like an old fashioned left back, Ryan Giles. He's I think I've only seen him go on one overlapping run in this yeah. second half since he came on as a half time substitute and he didn't even get the ball. That's not the player we remember from last season, is it? Slater. <coughs> He's been much more of an attacking threat on this full right hand side. Go on. Latte. Oh my word. Silvera. Ball in the box. It bounces to the edge of the area off a whole defender. The pass there, Silveri gets in a good area. He got to get his head up, and it's a, it's a little chip ball, but it doesn't really affect what what you want in their box. Oh, go on. Well read there, the pass. Come on. By Ealing now, Housen stepping up. Go on. Push forward. Go on. Housen still going. Housen Jones. He's going to go here. Oh yes. Oh, keeper saves it. Oh my word! Come on, Bora! Let's build, let's build on it! The keeper, I tell you what! The keeper, he was a bit shaky there! Well, he'll never be a Dalma Traore, but he travelled well with the ball there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. The whole city currently just. Still keeping on the ball runs like that without but a full possession at the back. Any threat, really. Eleven and a half minutes of the ninety remaining. Oh Jesus. Well controlled. Oh, he's got lots of space here. Loads of space. Just to the right of the area. He's gonna take a shot. No. He's gonna put it in the box. Back post. It's a corner ball. Yeah, but for me, it has to be offside there. I thought it was offside, like. Just demonstrating and just saying offside position. Abdul Shulman has gone over to the far side to take this corner. The bright lights of Hull glinting in the distance as <laughs> and prepares to drive this. The in ball, the box headed away by Latte La. But it comes north over than a Hull City player. Moving it to the right hand side. When the ball will be put in the box, but Clark will clear it away. Isaiah Jones. Go on, Jones. Go on, Jones. Keep, keep going. Go on. Oh, my God. If Jones keeps running there, Jones should have kept running. And then should have shifted it to his right foot. I would put it in a little box, in a little box, go even more forward and put, put it in the back of the net. A game and a season in the balance, it's all two, the Borough two. I totally agree with you there. And now Housen, as we have ten minutes remaining in normal time, Engel, Isaiah Jones, on the left hand side. It's still Jones. He beats his man. He puts it in the box, but it's cleared away. Not as far as Finn as as Housen. Tackled. Housen. Sly tackles. He wins the ball back. But Hall have won the ball back straight away. But they're playing it into a dangerous area here. And now it's cleared away. 
looks forward and hits this hard. Clark. Now Azaz. He finds O'Brien in the midfield. He's got no option, so he's going to have to go to Housen. Housen. He finds Isaiah Jones on the left hand side again. Can Jones find someone in the box? No. He tries to give it to Severa, but he's tackled. And now Hull City will come on the counter. Giles. Oh. Fuck a box. Fuck a box. Fuck a box. Fuck a box. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. No. -uh. No. -uh. No. -uh. No. -uh. And uh, five nil in front and on to Blackburn. And Michael Carrick has looked at the bench and he's turned to Luke Thomas. Hull are going to make a change as well. And it is the veteran sharpshooter Billy Sharp. Looks Goal. Like change will be made first. Oh! And it's all done to Fan, who I think about 10 minutes ago I said I thought they'd run out of legs, Neil. Who he's going to replace. Oh, Why? You got me there. You, you, you got me there. And there's whole three one. That's not possible, Matt. Do <laughs> you know what? You got me excited there. You got me really excited. Ah, oh, bugger. Ryan Giles standing Fair play. Up for Fair play. Line. I'll give you that. He's a good way outside the area beyond the deep. I'll get you back. Giles takes it short and square. Oh shit. Billy Sharp's on. Hanging this one up into the area towards Greaves. Wins the first header. Vandenberg nods it down out of the box. Ormer picks up. Slater beyond the centre circle. Oh, that's it. That had a sniff of winning that ball. Seri intelligently let it run across his body. To Giles. Giles is going to be tackled by Jones, and then he knew he was in trouble. He took him down. Come on! It is the first booking of the evening. Wow. And it's the former Borough Lawney, Ryan Giles, who <laughs> from Gavin Ward. You should have came back to Borough. Came back to Borough. You should have came back to Borough. Came back to Borough. You should have came back to Borough. Came back to Borough. Or he's winning this or season's over. Yeah, definitely. Well, I wouldn't say the season's over, but like, you know. But our playoff chances are definitely going to be struck down. Like, there'll be like, no chance. Like, there'll be like, what the hell? Bristol City are winning 5 0 against Blackburn! What the fuck? What the hell? Into the I thought Ryan Giles went to Luton. What? He, he's on loan at Hull because he wasn't getting any game time at Luton. Which is a dumb decision. Should have came back to Borough. We're living every moment here. The MK Five no freaking Bristol. No way. To eat into that seven point gap to Norwich as Vandenberg and Sharp. By the way, who's not who's my favourite to win? Oh, I, I don't know. Both teams are giving it a good go. And look, I don't want to just say Borough because... Oh, that is a freaking tackle and a half, Clark. Oh, no. No, 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 Turn back on, turn back on, turn back on. Turn back on, turn back on, turn back on. Turn back on, turn back on, turn back on, turn back on, Watch, watch him score now, watch him score. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whoa! Nice, Thomas. So, bro, uh, it was funny, but uh, that goal isn't far away now. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do that. I mean, I know it's there, but... I appreciate that, thank you very much. I mean, you didn't have to. Thank you very much. I need to find a new stream. Because that one keeps going on and off, on and off, on and off. And, it's, and to be fair, it's doing my head. Oh, am I going to have to go on the whole city? Or... 
Boom. It's not working. Guys, it's not working. Guys, what's going on? Guys, what in the hell is going on? Guys, tell me what's going on. It's not working. Oh, right, okay. It's it's fine. Uh, well, surely Josh wouldn't be allowed to play. He's he's not playing. Well, I'm mean, uh, sorry. Um, he doesn't play for us. He plays for Luton, but he's on loan from Luton to Hull, so he can play against us because he's not on loan from us. So, oh fuck's sake. I don't believe any of you. Shut up. I don't. I don't believe any of you. I don't. I don't believe any of you. Three, two, five, three. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I don't want to believe it either. Because it's actually just heartbreaking. Honest. Like, it just can't happen. Surely. If that happens, I'm, it'll just be so sad. Still round this ground. A point. Doesn't really do much. Why does it keep going off now? Like, it's right at the end. And it's going like... <clears throat> 67 people in the stream, thank you very much for the tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on the stream. We very much appreciate it. Very much appreciate that. Like as if the only stream that they have they don't have on here is the fucking military game. That's crazy. Oh wait, oh wait, they do. Right, okay. Five nil at Ashton Gates. Oh, I've got it. Still four nil nil with Watford. The missed well, the opportunity. Are <laughs> Top of the pile tonight, although they will go second. So Leeds back down to third. It's a long ball forward. It is so tight. It is so Headed. Tight, it is just oh yes, that is absolutely the brilliant. Clark. Now Rav, back to Clark. 88th minute here. <laughs> we need a van to go somewhere. It needs to happen. Because the point doesn't really do anything either. It's going to be a... For a throw in. We're about to see another former player. Oh wow, Aaron Connolly's coming on. Oh no, Aaron Connolly. Oh no, Aaron Connolly. Aaron Connolly's coming on. Aaron Connolly. Oh no. Oh, we all know what's going to happen. Oh, we all know what's going to happen. Oh dear. 14 starts for the Borough on loan, seven substitute appearances, mm. two goals officially, but one of them was really an own goal at Birmingham. Oh dear God. Heather Alight. And 14 starts is ridiculous for what he brought to us, wasn't it? Yeah. He was poor. He had a spell at Venezia before tipping up on loan here. Oh, sorry, not on loan, at Hull. O'Brien has dispossessed Clark at Steepling ball that drops on the halfway line. Clark steps in. Hackney's not playing. Less than 30 seconds remaining. See, I knew that one because Hackney's not actually playing. Just put it over the top. He's withstood the pressure all that well. I don't know what to believe anymore. Azaz. Azaz. Onto his left foot. So many defenders in there. He keeps turning this way and that. He's in low. Clear to the edge of the air. O'Brien has grabbed to the That's Brian. silly. And that is a whole free kick. I'm just looking at Sammy Silvera there. And he's three minutes of stoppage time, Neil. He's on the outside. Now three he's minutes. He's trying to man that ball. You know, it's 2v1. Give him that ball. But if you come, they're giving it away. Well, not quite. No. There was a chance there for Jones. Or so it seemed to get on the end of a loose pass. Shot dispossessed by a strong Vandenberg on the halfway line. Azaz to the right. Nervousness around this ground as Borough press here. Ah, Jones tried to beat Philogene by jinking his... Do I'm not, I'm not even, uh, it doesn't matter, I can see the chat there. And I don't want to look. I don't want to look. You're all lying. Both teams desperate for a winning goal. Still. 
can hear the travelling fans <laughs> running about Shut up. thousand of them packing out that far corner. <laughs> Go away. Well, they've been awarded in stoppage time. O'Brien. Oh, Jones caught late by Philogene as he kick. Played the pass. That's a yellow card. Time. Free kick. It is a free kick. And it's another yellow card. Jaden Philogene. I don't know. Now what can Bora do from this free kick? Well, you don't take it quickly. Let me go. See that? I, 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 I can probably believe. But you, you, you're all putting in like Stuani. I don't know. Johnny House on the. Not gonna believe that. It's out wide on the right. Macaroni. But their line of defense. You've actually just put Macaroni. Love that. Point of the D and there's a big hole. Housing to take the free kick. He stood about five yards offside. But you've got it's a lovely ball. There's a channel to put that ball into. Come on, come on, come on. Can you get across your defense? Oh, I don't know if I can walk. No! It's gone off again! No. -uh. It's loading, but it's not. Okay, there we go. The circle. Ah, that's gonna be it. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's gonna be full of time. It's going to be full time. Alright, it's over. It's done. I've just got a notification there. It's done. Full time. Internet's gone off. That's great. Uh, well, it's full time. So you can all stop with the... Seven! Macaroni! Is that our playoff dream over? What do we all think? Is that the playoff dream over? I think I, I think it is. I think that's it. I think, I think it's good that we've got a point. But yet again, I don't think it's good enough. A win was a must today. Someone beat Norwich. It's a real shame we didn't win it. It's real. It's a real shame. Um, I think first half we were very very poor, um, defensively. Um, first six minutes of the game, though, we were absolutely brilliant. Um, second half, we I can't really complain. You know what I mean? We we done really really well. Um, I feel like we controlled the game a lot more. Uh, the passing was a lot more smooth. Um, yeah, I think overall, the, the overall play in that second half was brilliant. And to get the goal to get back into the game was absolutely massive. So, credit the lads for doing that. Uh, yes, it wasn't it wasn't the best performance at all. Not the best. But, uh, we, we definitely battled hard. Um and you know, there's not there's not a lot more you can really do. Um, the if, that point there was, it's. I think that just pretty much says that we're not in the, we're not going to make it. Unfortunately, uh, the dog and drummer. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, the score was a uh, two two. Unfortunately, we needed a win to get into the playoffs. Well, to get four points behind the playoffs and to have a chance to get into the playoffs, but that point just, I don't think it's enough. Uh, but we'll see what bring what, what the end of the season brings. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but really, really unfortunate. Um, actually, I'm guessing no visit to Borough for me next year with... Ah. Um, uh, well, um... Yeah. 
I'm, 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 I might be at the game on Saturday um, at Rochdale. I might be there. So I, I don't know if I don't know if I'm definitely going yet. Um, but I might see you. I might see you. Uh, Saturday. We'll uh, we'll have to we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I think today it's. I think that point is a dent in the playoff chase, but oh, I, can't, I can't fault the lads. They, they got a point out of the game. Again, it, it was a really, really hard game. Really hard game. Um, so, credit the lads for playing out a battle. So, you know. But yeah, that, that that's pretty much it from me. Uh, really much uh, up north. Um, we had a bit of we've had a bit of rain over the past two days, so yeah. Um, it's not been very nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, that that's it from me. Thank you very much for everyone for joining me in today's stream. Very much appreciated. You've all been absolutely incredible. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for the likes and thank you for the thank you to the one donation as well. That was very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll see you all for the next game. Now when's the next game? Oh, I can't remember now. Um, I think it's Leeds, isn't it? I think it's Leeds. Or is it an away game before that? I don't know, but I think I think it's Leeds. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you all um for next time on the channel. Uh, the next stream I'm doing is on Friday for WWE Smackdown, which is going to start at 1pm, um, I mean, sorry, 1am, 1am, uh, it's 1 in the morning, so if you, if you can make it, if you can make it, then uh, that would be very much appreciated, but if you can't, that's very much understandable, because it's very, very late, um, but uh, yeah, that's it from me, thank you very much for the support, and uh, I shall see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Have a good, uh, have a good uh, rest of the week.